Hi, I'm Tom Archambault, an engineering specialist at Wind River Systems. In this video demonstration, we will set up and configure a connection to the remote virtual lab and then verify its functionality. The Wind River Remote Lab environment is hosted by ReadyTech and will take advantage of ReadyTech's automatic configuration utility, which will simplify the configuration process considerably. For the overwhelming majority of students, this five-minute exercise will be all that's required, and at that point, you'll be ready for your remote lab sessions. Some key points about the remote lab environment. The remote lab is accessed via your web browser, which will initiate the connection process. The URL is windriver.hostedtraining.com. On the remote system, all relevant Wind River products are installed and appropriately licensed, along with any required lab source code, simulators, and documentation. The system is dedicated to you, and there will be no other users on this host for the duration of the workshop. For instance, if your system needs to be rebooted, then you may do so confident that no other classmates will be affected. Your access code to log into the system will be distributed to you by your instructor during your class. These dedicated remote machines have their hard drives re-imaged prior to each class. Then ReadyTech supplies us, the instructors, with your access code, which we will then distribute to you. And finally, these remote machines are available to you 24 hours a day for the duration of your class. Feel free to access your lab hosts at any convenient time. First, some background. Here's a graphical representation of the ReadyTech system. Essentially, the student is assigned a dedicated host at ReadyTech, which exports its desktop graphics to the student's local machine using the standard protocols VNC or RDP. The video session data is secured by routing it through a network tunnel established from the ReadyTech server to the student's client machine. Now let's walk through the use of the ReadyTech Automatic Configuration Utility. Navigate your browser to the URL winriver.hostedtraining.com. You will either see the access page where the access code will be entered or be redirected to the Configuration Settings page. If you land on the access page, click the Settings link in the upper right to navigate to the Configuration Settings. On the left of the page, there is the Configure Automatically link, which will invoke the ReadyTech Automatic Configuration Utility. If there are no errors or warnings, one can safely download the suggested ActiveX component or Java applet. If both options are available, use the ActiveX component. If successful, save and confirm the settings. Now we'll verify our settings by connecting to ReadyTech's test server. The current access code for the test server is 554433 which will log us into the Connect page. If you don't see the Connect button shortly or the system status isn't updated, there are networking issues and you should proceed to the troubleshooting video. While we're on the Connect page, note the other actions pop up in the lower right of the Connect page, and this contains system administration and troubleshooting actions. As an example, a soft reboot can be initiated via the pull-down menu. The requested operation will need to be confirmed. However, for the purposes of this exercise, I'll cancel. Connect invokes the backend ActiveX or Java component, which establishes the secure network tunnel. After the connection is established, the graphics session is started and you'll shortly see the desktop of the remote ReadyTech system. At this point, we have successfully established an end-to-end -end graphics session through the secure network tunnel. During your actual lab session, you will log into your host with a username and password provided by your instructor. This is the RDP remote desktop view and note that it is a true full screen display. Terminate the session by clicking the X button in the right side of the hanging window frame. This is how you should also close your lab sessions. Disconnect and then log out. As an additional note, if you have configured the graphics viewer 
to be VNC, then you will be prompted for the VNC password. It is training, all lowercase. After the password is entered, you'll be presented with a VNC window with a fixed screen size. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has helped you set up your ReadyTech lab environment. Thanks again.